Well, praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Duke, and I am taking and trying to reach out all around the world today. <laughs> praise God. It's good to be with you again here on this live broadcast, and I am here to take and to wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas. Christmas will be next Sunday, and I want to like to take and to tell all of our people in Scotland, <clears throat> also in England, and also in Wales, and also here in America, I hope and pray that all of you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And that goes for Sister Duke also. She sends her regards and hopes that you will have a wonderful Christmas this year. We want to thank God for every one of you that came to the Lord under our ministry. And I know that you're reaching out I know that you've got a burden for souls, and I know that uh, God is going to take and bless your efforts to take and to reach those uh, in all the world. Go ye therefore into all of the world, preach the gospel to every creature. I want you to keep on preaching the gospel to every creature. Today, I would like to talk to you about a Bible study that I have taken and put together called How to Be a Good Christian. Now, we're living in the last day. We're living in the Laodicean age. And I want you to know that this is a horrible age to take and to be living in. And it's going to get worse and worse. Most of us have come through the pandemic. And uh, we had to take and put up with seeing our cl churches closed. Many of them didn't have service for many, many months. And I thank God today that, you know, most of the churches are open again. But still, there's a lot of people that got used to not going to church during that time. And I want to take and to talk to you today about how to be a good Christian. Number one, you need to take and pray. You need to seek God. You need to pray without ceasing. That's what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, pray without ceasing. In verse 18, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and quench not the spirit. So number one today is pray without ceasing. We find that number two, we need to be obedient to God's will. Oh, is that unusual today? Well, you need to be obedient to the will of God in your life. You need to be taken and reaching souls today. That's what God wants you to know. And uh, you need to take and realize that once God gave you the new birth, <coughs> that he gave you the ability to reach out to the laws. And if there's some of you that's listening to me today, that's never taken and turned to God, I pray and hope that you will turn to God today. Be obedient to God's will. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 says, And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Now, I want you to know that God can speak to you. If he has never spoken to you before, I want you to know that God can speak to you and he also can fill you with his spirit and speak through you. So we find that in Samuel, we find it says, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of the realms. So number two today is be obedient to God's will. Here is one that we need to take and understand today. Be faithful. This is number three. Be faithful to your church. You need to take and realize today that there are many people that no longer are faithful to their church. And yet they don't realize that they're fulfilling exactly what God spoke about concerning the church of Laodicea. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, 
It says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much more as you see the day approaching. And if any of you have never read my book with the prophecy in it, the prophecy that God gave to me was, I will not show you the day or the hour, but within the next 10 years, I will resurrect the sons of God. Now, you need to realize either you have been born again and you're staying close to God and you're being faithful to your church, you're praying without ceasing, and you're doing everything that God has called you to do and reaching out to the laws. You need to realize that you need to be ready for the rapture of the sons of God, especially if you're born again. Now, if you're not born again, you need to take and go to church and you need to ask them to help you to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We find that the Bible says, as many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. So we need to be faithful to our church. We need to be faithful in seeking God. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25 says, not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. And we need to take and remember that we need to study the Bible. We need to study the word of God. Second Timothy chapter two, verse 15 says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Psalms chapter 1, 19, and verse number 130 says, The entrance in thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. So we need to study the word of God. We also need to be a cheerful giver. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10 says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now, herewith saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall be room enough to receive it. A lot of people try to say that tithes was just under the law. Let me tell you something today. You need to read my Bible study on tithing. Tithing was before the law, then it was given under the law, and then Jesus took <coughs> and spoke about not leaving those things undone. But you need to learn to be a cheerful giver. <coughs> Number six, be the best, not just good. Matthew chapter five, verse 14 through 16 says, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So you need to do your best. You need to do better than just good. You need to take and become a great, wonderful worker and lover of God. Praise the Lord. I thank God today that we can take and we can serve him with all of our heart. So, number one, pray without ceasing. Number two, be obedient to God's will. Number three, be faithful to your church. Number four, study the Bible. Number five, be a cheerful giver. I want you to know I love all of you today. And I pray that this will be the most wonderful Christmas you'll ever have. 
I'm going to take and pray with you today. Would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, I come to you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful, Lord, for what you've given to me, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, to reach out and to touch everyone that hears this broadcast today. Reach out and touch them and help them, Lord Jesus, God, to take and to bring them unto thee. Lord, if there are those that are filled with the Holy Ghost, I pray, Lord, that you would help them to be the, ready for the rapture. Lord, when you come for the sons of God to take them up. And Lord, I pray, I know God today, Lord, that there's someone here that is not born again. I'm asking you, Lord, to right now, allow them to repent, turn their life over to you. And Lord, for you to take and to fill them with your spirit. And if they've not been born of the water, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, oh God, to let them find a minister that will baptize them in the most wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name in heaven and in the earth. And Lord, I'm praying, Lord, today that you will give someone the great revelation of who you really are. Adam was not three people. Eve was not three people. Lord, I'm praying today that they would understand, Lord, that in the book of the Bible, Malachi chapter three, it says, you, Father, was going to send your forerunner before you. And the Lord whom we see shall suddenly come to his temple. And you did that through the birth of the Son of God. I thank you so much, Lord, that that body of flesh that was sacrificed upon the cross of Calvary, Lord, was created by you to become the Son of God that you might give your flesh and your blood for our sins. And I want to thank you for paying the price for me. I want to thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice that you made. And I'm asking you, God, to help everyone that hears this prayer. Oh, God, to understand that you gave yourself for them. And Lord, now you're all in all. Lord Jesus, your name, is the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I thank God that you gave me that great illumination of this great revelation. I pray for every soul that listens to this broadcast today that you would reach out and touch them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you today.